Welcome to Brown Bag and with Ed, Tom, and nobody. Nobody else. Ruben died. <laughs> He'll be back next week when he resurrects from the grave. Or will he? You'll have to tune in next week. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thanks. I'm good at... Way to get him back. I'm good at marketing. We did this in a hurry, so I whipped up a little salad with chicken from uh, ingredients we found around Tom's house. <laughs> That's right. We found a chicken. chicken. We got a topic today. It is for non-atomic bombs. Before the atomic bomb, right? Mm -hmm. It was just like bombs. Eventually they had to decide, well now that there's other kinds of bombs, what do we call non-atomic bombs? You guys are bombs. I'm an atomic bomb. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Well, what makes you so great? And it's like, feel my wrath. <laughs> then it, it detonates and kills a couple million people. Yeah. And I'm still sorry about that countries. <laughs> all, all of you. <laughs> bomb making technology really hasn't changed when it comes to non-atomic bombs. Anything that has like, is just going to blow up into a, a, a thousand pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you get, you get yourself a bomb. People don't really take the time to really get creative with their bomb materials anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, like it's, it's nails it's, in a pipe bomb or like, you know, shards or marbles or something. Nobody ever thinks like, you know, fruity pebbles. It's just, <laughs> right. It's essentially... A deadly pinata. Throw whatever in there. Throw some chupa chups in there. <laughs> you know? Throw, yeah. throw some dreidels in there. A handful of like dry linguine. <laughs> now, Wiley e. Coyote had some bombs. Yeah, he got them from Acme Corporation. Conventional, he, he had rocket style bombs. He had those big black bowling ball candle ones. With like the huge wicks. Straight up TNT. Plungers. Mm hmm. Never worked for him. No, probably isn't his fault. If anything, it's that the Acme Corporation makes terribly yeah, an unreliable murder products. My guess is they're terribly expensive to ship. <laughs> they all are, none of them are small. They're all crated. Yeah. Which is a, that's a feat. Yeah, you're paying just the wood alone. Out to the middle of the desert. And quickly. Same day, next Close day. Close enough that he's like, got his binoculars out and he's like, all right, he's off in the distance. Quick, call laser ship. What they didn't show you was that the only reason the series ended is because his credit card maxed out <laughs> way too much. I would be so down for all warfare moving to Wile E. Coyote standards. <laughs> Men, open your knapsacks. You've each got a pair of roller skates with two rockets strapped to them. And when everything starts going poorly, there's a cliff and I've got, we all made you signs that say help with an exclamation point. Now when you walk off the cliff, don't look down. You'll be okay for a minute. Hold the sign. You'll also look into your kit. You'll find a few things, portable holes, some tunnel paint. <laughs> hey America, here's a secret to get me on, uh, on board with war. Make it fun. Make it cartoonish. <laughs> We're spending trillions on jets. At least we can spend a no. billion? On like some mallets? <laughs> Please. War is boring. And that <laughs> is the final word. Guys, thanks for joining us for Brown Bagging today. Stay tuned next week for a very special Brown Bagging announcement. Uh, right, we've got some new stuff coming down the pipeline. If you have any ideas for next week's episode, write them down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to check out Welcome to Super Basement on iTunes. That info is below too. Blow. Below us. <laughs> it's below, below us. us. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. So long, America. Peace.